Put yourself in the story and let God's love reach deep inside of you. Take a moment to get into a comfortable position. Begin breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the mouth. Intentionally relax your body as you focus your mind on Jesus. Every 
every fruitful branch to yield a greater harvest. The words I have spoken over you have already cleansed you, so you must remain in life union with me, for I remain in life union with you. For as a branch severed from the vine will not bear fruit, so your life will be fruitless unless you live your life intimately joined to me.
most importantly, commit to live these verses because it brings your Father such pleasure. I'll see you back tomorrow for whatever meditation series you choose next. Man, you can wake up now. <laughs> so is that peace, peaceful? Yeah. It's very peaceful. Now, if you went to our seminar, and if you're a warrior, you're probably wanting to just bolt out the back door right now. Um, so, Bill, <laughs> I knew you were the warrior type. I'm just curious where you were at with that. And it's, it's totally okay, because it's, it's not for everybody. But no, curious. Very good, good. good. Yeah, I think it's a missing element of our devotional lives that we would actually just slow down long enough and listen for what God is wanting to say to us through the Word and through the Scripture. And some people ask, well, you know, the music, where does that come from? You know, it sounds kind of eerie sometimes, but it's actually a friend of ours uh, who is a worship leader, but he's very much into the, the frequencies because there's certain frequencies that are supposedly of God and some that are not. He specifically made sure this was a, I think a 444, which 444. is somewhere, yeah, 444. So that's the frequency that's that's coming through that. It's just a pad that musicians use it all the time. You know, in fact, I think I heard one here last weekend. Somebody was using a pad, and it's just kind of an underlying you know music like that as you're playing your worship music. So uh, anyway, it's just I hope that was powerful. I hope that was something that helped you connect, and I do encourage you to to find some way to take that time and listen. So important to listen. So you say go to that site then I will... Yes. Yeah, yeah, meditateonme.com. And you can, there's actually an app for it. Uh, well, you know what, I'm not gonna even, don't even go there, because the app has a few issues, but you can access it on your phone through your browser and get, get it, it'll look just the same as it does on the, on the app, so. But the app has a few issues, so don't go there. Just use your browser and go straight to it. So the, the idea is to practice, and that's the main thing we want everyone to do, is just practice. Practice the different ways, and, you know, experiment with the different methods, you know, which one brings you the most, you know, into that encounter with God, and which one is for your personality and lifestyle, because right now, you may be in a season where this works great, but seasons change, and you may find that something else is needed later on, and it's okay. Don't get stuck in one thing and just think that that's the thing you've got to do all the time. It's more about finding what works for you in the season that you're in. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you have anything else? Yes. Does anybody have any questions? Um, I do. Yes. But, but yeah. That, what, what are the issues with the app? I mean, is that really that bad? Sometimes it you can try it. You, you can try it, but sometimes it stops right in the middle of playing a, oh, one of the meditations. Yeah. Yeah, and it's only on Android. It's not on uh, iPhone. So if I have an iPad. But the same thing. iPad. You can go to it through your browser, and it looks exactly the same. It's it's what do they call it? Um, somebody has a term for it. Responsive. Yeah. So that that was that was really hard for me. It's a verse that I've gotten from the very beginning, and every time. God brings that back to me, a whole new revelation. It just comes back around every time. Amen. Not all the time, but it just, it's a curse that keeps coming back around with deeper revelation. Amen. Yes, sir, Rebecca. Right so, I don't know, it's not a question, but um, so the way I understand that prayer is when you talk to God, and meditation is when you listen. So, you need to remember that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if, if that's the way you want to say it, I, th I think that's fine. I don't get hung up on the way. But to me, we have to have communication with God, which is back and forth. So whatever you're doing, just be sure that you're listening as well. Because how can we do the Father's will when we aren't listening? <laughs> we have to hear what He's saying. So, and I was trying to go in order here. I think Jeff... Because they're always speeding it up, because I was impatient. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason for it. There's both of them left. The Lectio Divina ones are set on a set time, but most of the other series you can choose between 8 minutes, 10 minutes, and 14 minutes. So for people like you, you can use 8 minutes. And it's, it's the same. Two and a half minutes. It's the same content. Just, you know, some people have written back and go, she talks too much, you know, and they want longer space to meditate. So. Yes. Uh, I had experience many years ago to practice this, 
And it's like uh, I had very tough, rough time in my life, and uh, I couldn't sleep well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was uh, reading Hili scripture, and I was boring. I said, God, the same, the same. What is the power? And I start to like meditate at night, repeating what I read. And God start to teach me, uh, provide the beautiful teaching about faith, how I activate faith. Because people sometimes hear that you have to believe, but sometimes they don't build up their faith. To perfect level, and God gave me beautiful like uh, teachings that uh, helped me to get the promise, everything in promised land. I still into this, uh, yeah, process, but it's beautiful. I agree absolutely. It's very Amen. powerful. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Okay. Yes. I, I probably didn't do it right because I kept writing what I was hearing. I had some. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, there's not that's a right fine. Yeah, there's really not a right or wrong way. Uh, I mean, for me, journaling, that's that's usually where I get to hear what God's saying. It's, I, I just write. I don't think about what I'm writing. I just write. I don't let it, you know, I don't worry about grammar or anything else. I'm just writing what I'm getting, what I feel God is saying. So in other words, you don't let the mind go blind. Yeah. You know, you're, 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 you're right. Right. Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah. No, it's not a, you know, think of a white room, blank thing. No, we're looking at God. Can I give a testimony on this? I've gone through this more than once. And tonight, from our teaching of the tree of good knowledge of good and evil, and I always heard that verse that says, you're evil, you're going to get cut off. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this one says, I'm going to prop you up. And that you're going to be abide, abiding in me. You know, so that was it. Well, Amen. And the whole, this whole process just said, God will keep expanding who he is to you if you keep pressing into it. Amen. 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 Anyone else? I, I do. Just on what you said. So, um, a, a revelation that God gave me, maybe it'll help somebody else. When, when the branch gets heavy, and you know, his yoke is easy enough mm -hmm. and light, okay? But we take on and we focus the circumstance, we focus the what is not pure, what is not delightful, right? But when we're focusing on him and what is pure and delightful, whether it's in another person or whether it's in us, um, you know, and then the word that cuts the sword. So he gave me that. All in all of that, he gave me. When I step outside of him, and I try to do it in my own, my own strength, but I start focusing on the circumstance or whatever, I get heaven and then I break away from him. And then he lifts me back gently yes. up, which is what he does when we fall. Okay? But also, that the sword of the spirit, what we said earlier, separates bone marrow, separates whatever, and the word goes out. When you speak out, when you hear it, it, it brings faith to whatever, right? And we're going to combine those two things that we learned tonight. So, in we put on the Ephesians 6, the full armor of God, right? All of the armor is based on Him. The sword of the Spirit is the only one that we're speaking out. The rest of it, the salvation, is our assurance that we're saved because of what He did. The breastplate of righteousness is because of His righteousness, not ours, right? The sword is the only one that we speak out that goes out and separates and does whatever, because it's alive and it does whatever you said it does, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only thing we have to do. We yeah. stand assured on His word that it's alive. Amen. And then Amen. we're going to sprout fruit because we're not going to be grounded by all the lies mm -hmm. that. Ken, do you want to come up and wrap this up for us? Thank you so much for allowing us to share. You know, we started out this year. Um, with, there was so much inspiration that God wanted us to get back to the simple gospel, get back to the Word of God, and allow the Holy Spirit. I love the fact that the Holy Spirit leads you into the Word of God, but then the Holy Spirit gives you some sort of an experience with God. I really believe that the Bible is an invitation to know Jesus, Amen. to know the person of Jesus. Amen. And so it's not just magic words. The red words do seem to do a little bit more for me because they're spirit and life. But really what it is, it's an invitation to experience not just what God did, but He begins to write that word inside of your heart. Amen. So I want to thank you guys for coming. 
different ways to be able to engage with him. And so I want to close this out with prayer. Um, check in with the person next to you to see if they need prayer. Um, that's one thing I love about Hilltop is when I, you know, we close out, I look around and people are checking in with each other and praying for one another's names. But Lord Jesus, I thank you for your word. I thank you that you sent your word and it healed them. And so right now I just release healing power um, to um, heal bodies and healing power to just restore souls. And in the name of Jesus, to recreate minds and um, to bring wholeness to the whole person. And so right now, spirit, soul, and body, in Jesus' name we release wholeness. And a real thirst for your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Awesome, guys. Well, that has been so good.